Now, I know what you're saying tonight. You're saying, I wish I could have lived in those days when Jesus came. In fact, we have a dear song in our songbooks, and it's all right as far as it goes. <clears throat> I think when I read that sweet story of old, when Jesus was here among men, how he called little children as lambs to his fold. I should like to have been with him then. Well, that's all right, but uh, may I remind you tonight, if you were sitting back there saying, wouldn't it have been wonderful to be somewhere when Jesus was there? May I remind you that he's here now? Do you believe that? If I could get one church full of folks that actually believe that verse, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. I don't know when we'd get out of here tonight. But we don't believe it. We've heard it too much. Now, some fellow across the ocean that hasn't heard it, why, that would keep him awake, puts us to sleep. We've heard it too much. Evan Roberts of the Welsh Revival, my, how God used him, but it got so the people waited for him to come, they didn't think he could have a revival until Evan Roberts was there. So one night he came, the great crowd was there, and he walked out on the platform and said, How many of you believe that where two or three are gathered, the Lord is there? Amen. Well, he said, Do you believe he's here tonight? Amen. Well, he said, Then you don't need me. And he put on his hat and coat and left. That was a dramatic way of driving this truth home. I've quit a long time ago saying, Lord, be with us in the meeting. I, I hear somebody nearly every time say, Lord, be with us. Now, I think I know what they mean. I think they mean make us aware of thy presence and conscious of thy presence. But he's here. He's right here tonight. And the thing that I hope you noticed about these folks I've mentioned is that nearly every one of them was desperate. Now, we don't have many people today in holy desperation to get through to God. They get desperate and get drunk and take drugs and kill themselves and everything else. All the way through the Bible, Jacob at Jabbok, Moses at the Red Sea, Gideon, David and Goliath, the lepers in the gate of Samaria, Barnabas the Syrophoenician, the woman and the judge in the parable, and the man that had no bread at midnight for his guests, every one of them desperate. But there was one chap who stood head and shoulders above all those folks who missed his blessing while they got theirs. He was the rich young ruler. And the trouble with that boy was he was not desperate. He could take it or leave it. And as long as you can take it or leave it, you will walk off and leave it every time. He looked like he meant business, but he didn't. 